3-8-6-6-3-3. Again, NI number 3 NI number, please. Three, eight, one, one, eight, six, three. Sunday morning, man in his white suit from sales house. He looks smart. So he must go to church, pick up the Bible and the hymn book right under his arm, down Grattan Street into Dora Road, down Agri Road, right inside the church, sits on the front row, and there stands the priest on the pulpit. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Pray. Amen. Give yourself to the Lord Hallelujah. while Jesus is still Amen. listening. Hallelujah. Repent. Abraka. The day shall Abraka. come. Abraka. The big books will Abraka. be paid. Abraka. Your names Abraka. will not be found. Abraka. Repent. Abraka. Abraka. Will all those that have not yet handed their names for our burial society remain seated, please? Welcome to the crawl of the Lord. Your name, please. Your address. For our record book, what is your passport number? N.I. Thank you. Welcome to the crawl of the Lord. Your name, please. Address. Your passport number, V stroke F. Thank you, my sister. Your name, please. Robert Zwelinzim. Address. 50 Mabija. Passport number, N.I. Three, eight, one, one, eight, six, three. Sunday afternoon, he walks out of the church, a saved man. The people are happy. More people meet him. May the Lord bless you, my brother. Stay inside the crawl of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. More people meet him. May the Lord bless you, my brother. Stay within the right side of the laws of this country. Jesus Christ will see to that as well. Amen. Hallelujah. He walks home three steps just before he opens his gate suddenly. Police. Clean the face. Your name? Robert Zwelinzima. Where do you stay? Mapeja. Passbook. Do young Eke. Did he yell at that from the morse Have you got this bloody book? Do young. Where do you work? Feltex. Feltex bus. It's bloody hard to shut. What chief do you vote for? Who's that? All that rubbish. All right, Boot. I will try. That's it, my brother. You must try. If you want to stay alive, you must try. But if I try, Boot, Steve Wabanzi is dead. What about Robert Zwellingzima? What about the man we left dead in the dark alley? He's alive. It's a bloody miracle. Robert Zwellingzima is alive again. Look, my brother, if somebody were to offer me some of the things I wanted most in my life and will never get, some of the things that will make me and my wife happy just in exchange for my name, Buntu, you think I wouldn't swap? Are you sure, Buntu? Yes, my brother, if it was me alone to think about. If I had no responsibilities, no one was me alone to think about. If I had no responsibilities, no one to care a damn about, yes, I'll be prepared to keep my name and pay that price for a little pride. But if I had a wife I loved, 
wasting her life 150 miles in a mud pondok in the bush. If I had 400 children waiting for me, their father, to do something about their lives, no Siswe. Robert. Robert. Siswe. Winston. John Athol. To hell with your name, man. To hell with that bloody name. If in exchange for it, you can get a piece of bread in your stomach and blankets in the winter. All right. Change those books. Return the dead man's book. You can keep your name if it is important to you. You can have your name back if it means your pride. But next time, next time that white man calls you John, do not turn back. It's not your name. Now don't say yes, sir. Next time that bloody white man calls you a boy, don't run up to him and crawl like we all do. Turn back and face him. White man, I'm a man, not a boy. We're just bluffing ourselves, my brother. Look, I am not saying that pride is not a way for us black people. All I'm saying is to hell with that pride. If only we're bluffing ourselves that we are men. You just remind me my father's head. A navy blue Stetson, brand new, wrapped in a plastic bag to keep the dust off. He puts it right on top of the wardrobe. God help those children who so as much touch it. Sundays. He puts on his diamond black suit, the only suit he puts on when he goes to funerals of relatives. Then as he walks down the stairs, me and my mother, we watch him through the lace curtain, and both we say, there goes the man. My father, he walks down the street, the special hat comes on. Just then the policeman shouts, come here, boy. Off comes that same hat. Yes, sir. Is that what you call pride? Is this what you call pride? Then take mine. Give me bread for my children. Look, my brother. You know Robert Zwellingzima. The men we left dead in that alley. If there are ghosts, his ghost is smiling tonight. He's a brother man just like us. You know what his ghost is saying? Good luck, Sizwe. I hope it works. For how long, Wood? How long? For as long as you stay out of trouble, trouble will lead you to the police station. They'll take your fingerprints straight to Pretoria, into those big machines, and your name, Sizwe Bandi, will come up again. That will be the beginning of troubles for you, brother. Bundu, do you know what you are saying? You are saying a black man must stay out of trouble. It's impossible, Bundu. Our skin is trouble. You said you wanted to try. For the time being, my troubles are over. Christmas, I come home. In the meantime, Buntu is working out a plan to get me a lodger's permit. If I get it, you and the children can come here in Port Elizabeth. Spend the money I'm sending you carefully. If all goes well, I'll be sending more and more every week from now. I do not forget you. Your loving husband, Siswe Banzi 